As uh, Sir Al said, there's a few of them up near the pace as they head towards the first car. Garen, the favourite in front. Uh, giving a sight now from Jealous Boy. Oh, just as sure, just dipped on landing. Nearly dropped the jockey. That's an unbelievable effort to get back into the saddle there. Fabulous stuff uh, from Aaron Kudu. No wonder he's a frigate winning them. Meanwhile, uh, it is back and having a chase down of these. Uh, All and Rock went awfully at that one. Coming to the next, and Gar Garen reached for it over at OK and uh, takes the lead now from the second one. Four lengths away, Chalice Boy. There's two lengths further back then to Who Can Tell. Uh, that's the name of the horse. And then we have Old Countess Cashel behind those runners is our Jackson with only four lengths or three now to Des De Jure. That was uh, that'll be replayed so many times. Fantastic. All in rock behind that. And Sir Al Sid is going to settle down the last of them. So pun right on them. Des De Jure and Aaron Kuru is amazing to still be in the race here. About five our Jacksons hanging in there. And then who can tell? That's the race barring accidents as they come on down the side. A uh, long flat run before they come to the next. And Gar Garen goes around. Sure. Who's a length and a half away and then our ca old countess and our Jaren coming to the last got over it Des De Schur's having another dip over on the outside coming home now Des De Schur Gargaran fights hard Des De Schur's just in front what an amazing victory Des De Schur and he loved it Akuru second over Gargaran third of the line our countess old Jackson further away has been the next one who can tell from jealous boy uh, then we have uh, Albie Sid and the other couple just cantering down now all in rock and casual have a look at the replay of the first fence here and how I don't know an incredible effort here from Aaron Kuru and the Mark Oligan train Des De Jure has been able to get up and win Car Garen tried oh so hard old Countess and our Jackson fighting out third and fourth have you ever seen anything like that no Absolutely not. That's incredible and we'll try and get the vision for you because this horse is on its stomach. It was down on its knees, it was on its back and somehow he slipped to the side, he's hung on, he's flicked his leg back over Aaron Kuru. He's got back in the saddle and the horse is beaten, a pretty smart sort of horse and Gargaran who's sort of fluffed the last but I know I talk a little bit about Aaron Kuru's skills but oh my word, I can't believe what we've just seen. I think we can bring you the vision and we will pick up uh, Mark Oligan shortly. This is the horse going over, and that's him, and sweet. Oh, God, that's just ridiculous. What a performance. <laughs> I've never seen the like, but he's a pretty talented man, and he's got the job done here. With Des De Jure, well done to the Auret, Haydock, Meyer, and Simstein. Let's win two at start. Number 16, the money came, and he's delivered really nicely. Mark Oligan does the training of the five, he's done that, but the horse has done a wonderful job as well to pick himself up and win the race. Yeah, well, we thought he wasn't a bad sort of animal, but after the first fence here, I wasn't giving him too much of a chance, but I was amazed he got back on. I thought he was gone. Yeah, I thought he was gone, but he's got there, and then the horse has sort of picked himself up and travelled nicely, and he showed really tough sort of attitude to him.